As long as you're watching, why don't you join us? <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Uh, did he hear what that sounded like? I don't think he did. <laughs> I loved it, though. I'm here for it. <laughs> Hello. Hello. We're back. You're back. Oh, ready I'm back. to go. I'm so ready to go. I'm so excited for this. So we're doing... Okay, well, welcome to Pineapple and Lemon Channel. Hi, welcome Hi, back. Hi, welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> so this is long-awaited. I'm super stoked. This has been highly anticipated by the very least by Christina. By me. <laughs> so. I don't know if you guys have been, we're kind of hoping for this, but you're going to get this whether you asked for it or not. We're doing um, a series finale react today to none other than Lost. Yes, Whoa. folks, I binged it. And here we are. <laughs> Christina has been watching all of Lost since we did our season one video, which yes. you can see we have that video posted. We did the premiere and the finale of season one. Christina loved the show so much. She's been binging it. Yes. <laughs> and has made it to the very end. We're here. Literally. Except for the end. The last episode. Which, which is called The, the End. end. <laughs> and that's what we're going to watch today. Yes. I'm very excited. Christina has seen the last two seasons of Lost prior to doing this rewatch, you watched it when it was actually happening. So you have seen this episode I before. I have seen this episode. I do. I remember small pieces. Yeah. I do not remember the whole thing. Yes. We're going to throw spoilers out there. Yeah. This so is spoilers for spoiler the whole warning series. For the whole series. So if you have not seen it from here on, you need to go watch it and then come back because there will be spoilers. Yes. And I'm not apologizing for spoilers. No. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Not sorry. It's happening. I think, too, you'll have a new appreciation for the rest of the series. You didn't know yeah. certain characters going into the finale yeah. the first time you watched it that you will know now. And I did like a lot of callbacks, too. Mm -hmm. Like, even as late as, like, a couple episodes before the finale, we're still getting, like, familiar faces that pop up even in the flash sideways. So there's yeah. still these actors are still being brought into the show. Mm -hmm. And that's something that I very much enjoyed. Me like, oh, my God, I remember you. I miss you. <laughs> like, it's so nice to have you back. Yeah, I think at this point, we've talked about Lost enough times. We're not going to give a recap. If you've never heard of Lost before, maybe check out our other videos or maybe the podcast. check out our podcast that we did. Because that was only one. three hours. Yeah. <laughs> it's a short thing. No, it was nothing. <laughs> but we're going to be doing the last episode today of Lost. Yes. And you want to hit me with that IMDb description. I got you. So Locke searches for Desmond to achieve his goal of destroying the island. Jack, the newly appointed protector of the island, sets out to stop him. In Los Angeles, the survivors slowly reunite and recall their island experiences. There it is. The there plane. it is. There's a plane. There's that lost sting. <laughs> the song, the sad lost song. Oh, oh this is going to be Jack's dad. Because in the flash sideways. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. Woo, guys, I know my. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you lose something that big. I mean, I'm not surprised that an airline lost something. Yeah. Of importance, they always do. So it's pretty bad, though. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. But yeah, but how do you lose a coffin? Yeah. Like, that's just rude. That's pretty bad. You should have taken extra care. You know, it's one of those, like, this is sad and serious because it's like <laughs> just instrumental music playing. There's no, like, they're not differentiating between going from flash sideways to no. the island. So it is showing kind of the both versions of the characters right now. Yeah. Yeah. This episode, especially towards the end, has a lot of parallels that you'll see happening. So I think this really is a good bookend they were going for. Yeah. You work here? I do indeed, brother. Also, you were mentioning that you didn't remember Desmond as a character. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember Desmond. I don't know how, but I just don't remember him. <laughs> and he's like a lot of people's favorite character. I know. I know. I was like, oh, here's this guy. He's probably only going to be in like a season, two seasons. Nope. No, he's in there for the rest of it once you get to season two. I'm like, oh my God, how do I forget this guy? <laughs> he's great. Who are you? It's Desmond. I know Christina forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But I know who you are. Your feet not cold? I wouldn't necessarily just stand in the water like that, but okay, Jack. You could stand on the rocks. You could have a sit. Like, <laughs> nope, I'm going to stand right here. Just want to get my ankles damp. Because <laughs> he ain't got what he needs. I'm guessing that'd be Desmond. So Desmond's down a well right now? <laughs> no, Desmond has escaped the well. So okay. I had let him out, but we don't know where Desmond is right, right now. But he did fall down a well at one point. <laughs> well, 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 Locke put him in there. 
completely different cast for the opening credits than it was in the first season. Mm -hmm. I mean, I am looking at the opening credits to see if they're going to drop some names. Drop some names. Yeah. I always find that ruins it, though, is it when they put the opening credits. Yeah. Right. I feel like you, you have more mystery if you just wait and don't put it mm -hmm. because if you if you're someone like me who knows actors yeah you're gonna pick you're up gonna on it. you're gonna be like oh this is so cool this person's in it and then it kind of ruins it matthew fox is in this episode <laughs> <laughs> oh there it is and there it is it's the last episode like what do you expect i expect those ones to come back i'm honestly waiting to see if they're gonna hey my boy <laughs> who are you He's so happy cry. to see you. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love him. He just had to kidnap him, it's fine. What was that? That was Charlie. <laughs> Hurley is like my favorite character. Yeah. <laughs> He's so funny. Oh, I love him. As long as you're watching, why don't you join us? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. Did he hear what that sounded like? <laughs> I don't think he did. <laughs> I loved it though. I'm here for it. <laughs> I think there was a dog here. Vincent! <laughs> I, oh my God. It, oh, this is the finale. And you <laughs> thought the entire show he wasn't going to make it. I didn't think he was going to make it. This dog is resilient. Morning. Oh, Rose. Bernard. I love these two. <laughs> They're so great. I don't know if you remember, but I mentioned... In the first couple episodes, Rose was in it talking to Jack. And I'm like, oh, she'll she'll be in it more later. And you were like, who is this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I didn't believe you. I was like, they're not going to be in this really at all. And no, they're in the freaking flash sideways. Like, they're in it. And the whole finding Bernard was a big part of season it was, two. It was. How long have the two of you been living here? I want a Dharma mug. They don't make them anymore. <laughs> no? Etsy. They used to. Well, I guess, but. <laughs> Bernard. I see you eyeing it. Don't do nothing stupid. He's gonna pull some sweet moves. <laughs> we need to blow up that plane. Why? It's so useless right now. He's not even gonna take the plane. They need to have an explosive finale. Ugh. It's lost. Something needs to blow up. Honestly. It's nice that Sawyer wears glasses. <laughs> right? That match? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, can it be who I hope it is? The doctor? Yes. Do you have a guess? Oh, yes. Do you want to say it? Juliet! <laughs> I guess we're going to find out if someone walks through. Yes! Woo! I'm so here. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm happy. Payoff. Love it. I wondered if they were going to bring her back. Just kidding. I knew she was in this because I saw the name credit. I, <laughs> you've also seen this before. <laughs> I forget! <laughs> And for the record, you do speak English just fine. You say that to everybody. <laughs> Them at the beginning, they couldn't speak English, but mm -hmm. then they remembered everything and mm -hmm. they were able to. Yeah. That's a nice detail to include. It's such a nice detail. But I bet you they're going to stay away from anything water related for now. Well, I, think that's <laughs> I would hope fair. so. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> just whoa. <laughs> I'll see you on the other side. What, him kill you or the surgery? Well, it depends what way you're flashing forward. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, which way are we flashing here? He can age now. Sweet relief. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? Frank. That's my guess. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> How the hell? I don't know, but I'm here <laughs> for it. Oh, at least someone made it. <laughs> hey, Dad, did you remember the tickets? I just gave them to your mom. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. I get it. I didn't see that coming, but I get it. But, but. They don't know each other. Okay, fine, whatever. But what, when they, what happens when they remember? It doesn't surprise me that those two are actually together, though. Yeah. Because they did have a thing. So I'm not surprised that, like, in this flash side, it was that they are together. I just, it, when I was thinking about it, it wasn't the first choice that popped into my head. Yeah. Yeah. You thought it was going to be, like, a random person, though? Or? Yeah. Yeah. Or I was, because I was also trying to think, like, who could have it have been that was on the plane? But I was like, it wouldn't have been anybody on the plane, because it wouldn't have been Kate, because we saw what happened to Kate afterwards. Mm -hmm. Right? So, like, I don't know. I didn't know who I expected. And what, may I ask, have I done to deserve your trust? Is Charlie still conked out in the back? I <laughs> <laughs> uh, think he might be. Oh, here we go. Oh, 
What do you think's happening here? It's Shannon and Boone. Yeah, but dude, it was worth it. This was their plan. <laughs> Stage a fight. That will get them together. <laughs> Look at it, it's the hat shot again. I know. Look at it. parallels. Flashbacks. The two of them looking over Desmond too. It's a, mm-hmm. it's a double. Hey, excuse me. Do you know where the band is? It's just you this whole episode. It's just I know all these really little moments. You're getting me. I love it. So it's interesting that some people it's just as simple as like a touch, like with Shannon and Saeed. But with other people, it's something more that needs to jog it. Yeah, there might be an indicator of a specific person is required. Yeah. That's so funny. That drive shaft is accompanying I know, him. A pianist? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At this point in the episode, are you wanting to hear more about the Flash sideways or the stuff on the island? Honestly, like, it feels like everything's kind of going to point towards the Flash sideways at the end of it. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be kind of interesting how, I'm assuming there's going to be, like, this big flash of light kind of sequence. And it's going to be like, the island's no more a thing. This is now their new reality. But it's going to be interesting how they, like, pull them together because they have to connect a bit more than the same people same memories kind of thing because if they're having all these memories yeah why yeah right just blanket maybe you need to maybe tap her on the shoulder or something here charlie i'm waiting for it because i'm already like in tears <laughs> there's the peanut butter <laughs> <laughs> it's always the peanut butter so now what we're going back to the island <laughs> We have to go back. (laughs) Those look a wee bit treacherous. Yes, that ladder. (laughs) I hate that ladder so much. (laughs) Oh my God, I do not trust that thing at all. Do it, John. Do it. How's this for your showdown? I was expecting something like here on the beach. So when they first started fighting each other back in the jungle, it was like... "Mm." I don't expect it to be the climax, but this makes more sense. This is perfect. (laughs) This is what I was hoping for. Let's go at it. Come on. (laughs) (laughs) Commercial. Smash. (laughs) Ooh, the crunch. Crunch and... Crunch and splash. Oh, no, No, didn't make the flash. The flash. The flash. Pushing him off the cliff in one world, bringing him back in another. Yeah. Mock's dead. Yeah, until you go to look over and the body's not there. (laughs) It's not Halloween. (laughs) (laughs) Look, I'm just, I'm playing it safe, okay? (laughs) I'm not ruling anything out. It's the last episode. (laughs) Let the island sink, Jack. Yeah, I can't. I can't. I am the protector. He has finally achieved his status. Of being the tragic hero figure. (laughs) It's exactly what he wants. Right? Tell me I'm going to see you again. Maybe. Well, I'll see if I'm busy next week, but... I might be able to pencil you in. I don't know, maybe. I'll give you a call. See how my side's doing at that point. (laughs) Well, there's still ground to get off, so if you want to go, you better get your asses in gear. (laughs) Stop Stop throwing throwing it! (laughs) My God. You need it for communication. Honestly. Okay. Oh, oh, well, there, there she we go. goes. <laughs> that was very she close. She almost hit that rock. I was yeah. nervous there for a second. Oh, head first. We're diving. I kind of wish she'd belly flopped. I think that no. would have had the more comedic. No. No. Not okay. now. Oh, <laughs> There's well. not enough time. <laughs> well. It's so you're going to run into Juliet. And then that's going to jog his Jog his memory. <laughs> it's gonna what now? <laughs> you know. You know, you know. You know. You know. If you know, you know. There we go. From a candy bar. I gotcha. Were you waiting for this reunion? I'm indifferent. Really? I'm, like, I'm happy that they're reunited. I think I was, I was I'm definitely like the, the Sun and Jin one yeah. really got me. Claire and Charlie got mm-hmm. me as well. This one, I was kind of really indifferent to their their love story. I'm like, yeah, it was sad when, like, Juliet died. Also, that was the one thing I, I actually did remember that scene. <laughs> it's from, a pretty That big was a big scene. one. To, yeah, I was like, oh, yeah. I remember how she died. Yes. Right, yes. <laughs> I've missed you so much. Wow, not accepting it. It's fighting. Sounds about right, though. Yeah, 
<laughs> Very in line with Jack. It's kind of complex or something going on. <laughs> so like we've said it 20 times. Hurley, don't do this. No. Stop it. No. Don't. Hurley. Don't. Now I got tears, bro. <laughs> Stop it. This guy's getting me. It's all Hurley. Every single, it's all Hurley, honestly. You will become the, the proper... chosen one. Owner of the island, the protector. Here's your keys. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Just like that. Yeah, pretty quick. Well, I mean, there's not a lot of time. I know. But <laughs> You're running on negative time right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's way to make sure they see you. <laughs> Oh, I think you're just being dramatic. It was not that heavy for Desmond. He got punctured. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you put it in deep enough there, Jack? You put it in the right way. It's like one of those yeah. like child puzzles. Did he put it, <laughs> you know, the square, the triangle. Did we put it in the right, the Did right way? Did you put the cork in the island properly? <laughs> <laughs> put a cork in it. <laughs> you think none of them would ever want to fly on a plane ever again. Oh my God, <laughs> honestly. They're like, I'm going to stick to the land. Yes. <laughs> Are we laughing or crying or both? Bit of both? Bit Everything. Of both. All at once. All the Jack feelings. <laughs> you could really use someone with like experience. Your resume looks pretty good here. You have quite a lot of experience. I'm just gonna have to do this quick interview. <laughs> yeah, I think we might have a good fit for you here. <laughs> I have a job. <laughs> the island is always helpful mm -hmm. in the long run. You can't die down here. <laughs> you have to be outside. <laughs> This one finally gonna set in, Jack. You must remember all of it. <laughs> all of it. Season one through six and go. Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> rewatch the whole series through Jack's eyes. Yeah, honestly. And they're all. And they're all dead. Everyone dies sometime, kiddo. This is the part that I think is they do explain, but it does feel more poetic to me. Uh huh. No, it makes all. It makes sense. Yeah. And there's no other way that you could explain it than how he does it. Yeah. I love how it's like a double reunion because it's like a reunion because a lot of these actors haven't been together. Oh, looks a shoe. Since like as early as season one. Yeah. And it's also just like in, in general, like a reunion for part of the show. Which we can talk about when it's over, but I think that's why they made the finale like this. Mm -hmm. Like to have that feeling of everyone being able to come back. Vincent. Guess who made it to the very end? Vincent. What a good dog. And that's how you there end you Lost. Oh. You start with the eye opening, you the end with the eyes closing. I think I was like, it was good. I was saving this till now. There is technically an epilogue that they posted uh, on the DVDs, but it is oh. on YouTube. So there is another 10 minutes of Lost, technically. Technically, it means <laughs> you can watch it? Yeah, if you want to. Yeah, now that, that happens to be thinking there could be a whole spin-off thing. Like I think that was something that was talked about. Is still something that's been talked about. Potentially doing a spin-off. That Lost would either get a reboot or a spin-off. I don't think you can reboot it. I think that would be nice to kind of see that. Mm -hmm. And to kind of see like where the, the characters went. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's ever completely off the table, especially these days where everything's getting brought back. But mm. it was definitely something talked about that there would be more lost. At some I can point. understand that they, the hesitation. Yeah. Something that, you know, it was very strong. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you don't want to... Because a lot of times sequels don't do well. Yes. So it's like, do we want to risk bringing it back for it to not perform well or people not be interested in it? Thing. You also, like, there's been a very big cultural reevaluation of loss because when it came out the finale people hated it like yes. they were not happy with it i remember it. when i saw the finale for the first time i texted my friend who was also watching it live and be like i don't understand it and she's like i don't either but this is what i think mm -hmm. and that's when all like the whole purgatory yeah, theory started, started going out, out. Um, because everyone was very confused. Everyone was trying to understand it. And then that's why, like, I guarantee if you search Lost Television Series on YouTube, there's going to be so many videos of people trying to break it down. Yeah. And explain it. Because nobody understood it. Yeah. And, like, <laughs> the writers and that the actors, they none of them have really come out and said, you know, this is what it is. Well, so there's still a little bit of mystery around it. But people have shut down the purgatory idea. The writers are pretty firm on what they think it is when they're mm -hmm. asked about it. And I think they were pretty upset that people reacted this way. 
uh, to I mean, the finale. I mean, I would be two. I would be two. Uh, like, because- it makes sense. I don't know if people were literally wanting like a laundry list of like this mystery here's the answer this mystery here's the answer like I don't know how you do that and make it a television show like at that point it's something else yeah it's not really it's almost like they wanted like a talk show with the characters where they all sat down and they like answered all the questions yeah (laughs) yeah I mean that's what panels are for yeah right like interviews and such and this was also like coming up right at the time when there was really a lot of push with internet forums Mm -hmm. and discussion Mm -hmm. and theories with this show so maybe a show that came out like five years prior they wouldn't be as much discussion it would be more what you talk about with your friends yeah but this was like an entire community was a hundred percent and the community came up with their own theories Mm -hmm. and in a way made it like this has to be the answer and then when the show didn't do those things i think they got upset because maybe for years they were like well this is how it's gonna happen or this Mm -hmm. theory is actually true and then it turns out the showrunners were like no it's not this is our story we're telling yeah unfortunately it doesn't line up with what you thought i think like what people have to have to kind of remember is that because the show is very well thought through they had a very clear direction of where the show was going for the most part i'm gonna say for the most part and they kind of weaved it from there yes fans can go online and have their theories and opinions a thousand percent that's why we have fan fiction we're not in the writing room we don't get a say in the outcome we're just along for the ride and i think that's what you know fans have to remember is as much as we get in very heavily invested in the shows we have to remember we're not the ones that are creating it and it's not our creative point of view Mm -hmm. it's the writers and the directors they have a very clear vision of what they want and this is how they're going to go about it we have to understand and respect that we might not always understand it because clearly a lot of people did not (laughs) understand the finale but what i would say is if you go back and you i would you have to binge watch it this is a show you have to helps it really does because if you watch it live when if you watched it live you might have missed an episode here but you're also watching it with like a week apart Yeah, you're going to forget the small things that happen because, yes, there is a recap at the beginning of every single episode, but it's only going to show you like key parts. Lost is written so well that it's even in the minor moments that there's very important information that you're gaining. So being able to watch it on a platform like Disney Plus and being able to binge it and go right through to the finale. And if you're paying 110 percent attention, (laughs) it makes sense. Like. It's like we said, you can't explain it. Christian did such a beautiful job of explaining it. I couldn't recreate that. I, think I couldn't sum- sum- summarize that. Like it, it is literally that full monologue. The main part of it too is that it evokes a feeling. I think yes. that's what they were going for is Lost is about the characters on the show and about how you get to a point where you feel like it, it turned out okay. Like, how else do you do that based yeah. off of how many characters die? Like, everything they go through. They yeah. had to come up with something if they wanted to give mm-hmm. them a happy ending. And I think that's what they really wanted to do was how do you finish the characters' arcs in a way that makes them feel like their story is complete? As well, opposed think- to maybe, like, this one mystery didn't get solved. <laughs> right, I think that's the key thing. That two arcs. Yes. With an S. Multiple people. We're not just following, like, three main characters no. here. We're <laughs> following, like, 40 plus people, kind of. Like, if you're counting every single person that was on the plane or in the background, the Dharma. You know what I mean? Like, we're following so many people with a well-thought-out and constructed storylines mm-hmm. that have to come to a natural, proper conclusion. You find that you're invested in... in some characters more than other characters sure yeah like i found that i was definitely invested in the show as a whole but there's definitely i would say like a handful of characters that i was like more invested in them their stories and where they're gonna go Mm -hmm. uh that's why when you asked me about sawyer and juliet i was like you know what yeah i cried i cried when juliet died like that was sad um but definitely did not cry as much as i did with sun and Jin. yeah that was oh my god and then, like, I just love Hurley. Like, from the first episode, he's just a hype man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He's just so funny. Um, and then I really, really enjoyed Claire and Charlie. Mm-hmm. And those are characters that were not in it for quite a long no, time. No, Yeah, they weren't in a lot of seasons. But then you bring, like, small clips of them back here and there to still keep them kind of, oh, don't forget you. We haven't forgotten about yeah. these people. <laughs> you bring them back and you're, like, so happy to see them. And then... 
in the finale when they get together again, you're just like, I was literally in tears. I was like, oh my God, I love these people. I was so happy to see them get back together. Mm -hmm. And it was just such a happy reunion. Yeah, it was bringing back the characters, but also bringing back the cast and the mm -hmm. feeling of this is the entirety of Lost mm -hmm. for this final episode. We wanted everyone to get a proper goodbye. Yeah. Oh, and I really appreciate it because I feel like with the, the characters that they chose to be in that final reunion mm -hmm. a lot of them haven't been together for multiple seasons yeah because of you know this adventure and that adventure like bernard and rose were just you know living it up by yeah. the beach just the <laughs> two of them for a season and a half right mm -hmm. and then you know so they haven't really interacted with anybody and then you know you bring in charlie's been gone for three seasons three seasons <laughs> yeah so it's kind of nice to see everybody in one place again. And it kind of just reminds you of that first season mm -hmm. um, and the relationships that we're forming. Um, but again, I still I still find it's very interesting, like who is not there. Um, just at the very end, just mm -hmm. a rapid fire lightning round. Yes. Things that stood out to you throughout the series. So oh my God. Just quick. A lot. Oh boy. Okay, super quick. Yeah. Um, I liked the difference between faith and science. Yes. That was such a big thing. Um, the character developments were like absolutely phenomenal. Mm -hmm. um, acting was phenomenal. I really liked the use of um, the sound effects. Yeah. Um, you know, the sound of the plane when they're transitioning to the island or back to the flash backwards, <laughs> forward, sideways, whichever flash you want to talk about. Um, how everything was connected. Yeah. And you don't realize that till you go back and you rewatch it, but even like the small things in the background, like characters were passing by each other or someone was on the television screen or, you know, grocery store, everything was just all connected. I got I got a few for you. Okay, okay. Some big moments, I just kind of your reaction oh to them. Oh my gosh. Anna Lucia and Libby when they got shot. I was surprised, but I knew Michael was acting wacky, so I didn't put anything past him. Mm -hmm. I was kind of like this could swing either ways. I was really upset for Hurley. That's yeah. what I was upset. I was like Anna Lucia, you know, you kind of just seem like a little bit of a mm, but um I was really upset about Libby because I was like, oh no, he's just about to go for a date. This poor <laughs> guy. I, I just wanted to give him a hug. I felt so bad. My heart really went out to Hurley for that moment. Not Penny's boat. <sighs> okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> so when we went to watch the first episode together, I had held my hand out to you because I knew about the scene, but I couldn't remember what was on the hand. Yeah. And I knew that the scene was coming. I didn't know when, but I was very strategic in how I watched it. Because mm -hmm. I knew I couldn't watch, I could, that could not be the last episode that I watched before I went to bed. Yeah. I would not <laughs> sleep. Um, I bawled. Yeah. I was like, I really loved the small, small things. Because mm -hmm. it was, you had this really nice bonding moment between Desmond and Charlie, and then Penny, and then Desmond's getting super stoked, and then the freaking Russian guy. <laughs> Uh, I, was just, I was like, we should have seen this coming, but we didn't. And we're like, <laughs> and so I thought it was really smart that he wrote not Penny's boat to give them the heads up. Mm -hmm. And then I also really liked the small little, he did do like the, he prayed. Yes. As he was about to go. Um, but I thought that was a nice like little nod to him coming from a religious background and coming to terms with that religion in that moment um, and saying, I'm at peace with what I'm doing. Yeah. Um, I also think that the whole lead up to making him making a list and he left his ring for, for Aaron, mm -hmm. um, which took a while for people to find because they ended up abandoning the camp. Uh, but it's just the small little things that were leading up and I'm sitting there in tears the whole time because I'm like, <gasps> I know what's coming and I didn't know when it was going to yeah, happen. Yeah, you were so just I waiting. Just kept getting prolonged and prolonged and then it happens and I'm like on the floor in tears. I'm like, Charlie. Okay. <laughs> when Jack says we have to go back. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that image of him saying that was burned in my mind like yeah. that is a classic lost shot to me yes just the close in on his face we have to go back we have to go back <laughs> i know i was like bro bro <laughs> why did you leave to start like it was just kind of one of those like no shit moments mm -hmm. <laughs> in the nicest way possible um it was like well Lada, you shouldn't have gone back you guys came came off the island your lives have been miserable and you keep 
you know, it's almost like a PTSD kind of yeah. experience, right? Because they went through this big traumatic event on the island. They went away, but they went away with this guilt knowing that they're still, their friends are on the island, mm-hmm. but they can't bring people back because they put the island in danger. So this is like, you want to help them, but you can't help them. So then when he says, I have to go back, it's like, bro. But I think we have officially come to our end of watching Lost. I know. Are you going to rewatch it? <laughs> Probably at some point when I have way too much time on my hands. I have a couple of other things I got to got to catch up on first but i wouldn't be surprised if you know in five years or so i'm going i'm going back down this lost journey and you you have to go back i have to go back <laughs> there's no way to leave once you've entered no can't leave the island can't leave the island that's how i'm gonna be when i come back from my trip it's like, i gotta go back <laughs> <laughs> we weren't supposed to leave <laughs> I think big recommend from both of us. A hundred percent. If you have not seen this, you must go see this show. It is phenomenal. It it will take you on a whole journey. It and really is. I think just especially nowadays, the way people mm-hmm. have been kind of reevaluating it, give it a good chance because if mm-hmm. you were kind of iffy about it before, I think you will actually really enjoy it's it. It's definitely not your typical binge show. It's one of those where you think like, uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to watch multiple episodes like in one sitting but you put it on and you're like hyper focused how did i just watch seven episodes of lost yeah how did, <laughs> how's my whole day gone because i just watched oh i thought i sat down to watch one episode of lost nope my whole day's gone yep <laughs> it's definitely not hard to binge it no that's what i when i first got into it, i was like i kept seeing it pop up in my feeds like oh recommended you should watch this I'm like i don't want to commit to a six season show they're all like 40 minutes a piece like this is gonna be really straining to watch nope Nope. Nope. You're done it Guys, we're here. (laughs) We're here. It was pretty easy to binge it all. Yep. And I kind of was like in that, it almost became like an, I would say, akin to like an addiction. I was like, (laughs) I need to watch Lost. I need to watch the next, I need to know what's going to happen. I got to know what happens. I got to know what happens. I got to watch the next episode. So it became like, almost like obsessed. I got to watch the show. Yep. An obsession, guys. You should (laughs) hop on the train. But please let us know if there's another show out there that has you just super excited to watch the next episode because and you can't stop hard, talking about it it's hard to fill that void it after really you're is. done lost it's a void i have a void right now so we definitely want to hear about other shows that are super super good yes that we want to binge all of it in one go <laughs> yes send us your recommendations uh we definitely are looking for more tv shows even if it's a movie too because we do also do movies on our channel if you're have that movie that's just i gotta watch this 500 times in yep. a year you send that to us and we will watch it I would love to list. hear more. I Give would. me the recommendations. Send them our way. Thank you so much for watching with us. It's been a blast and a half. Had a really good time. As always, you could like this video. Or subscribe. Even better. If you want to see something for us to watch in the future, like a movie or a TV show, please let us know in the comments. And we'll get on that right away for you. Yeah, yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs>